Sales Lamp. I'm going to talk to you today about the top three ways to make money with a small backyard chicken flock. Now, there are a lot of ways to make money with a small backyard flock, but we're going to look at the top three. And we get asked this a lot here at TFL about how are some people making full-time money with their small backyard flock. And I'm excited to share this with you because who couldn't use a little extra income with the rising cost of groceries and fuel and just our world in general? But some people are making $2,000 a month or more. How are they doing that with their small backyard flocks? We're going to talk about that today. If you already have poultry, you already have a place to keep them safe from predators, you are most of the way there to making an income source out of them. I love backyard chickens. You know that they are the most profitable livestock on the farm. They give you meat, eggs, fertilizer insect control, and not to mention the stress relief and the entertainment value they give us. So let's get started. The number one way is raising rare breeds. Well, what is a rare breed? A rare breed can be defined in a couple of ways. Um, the one, one is that they're not easy to find in your location of the world, wherever you are in the world. They're not easy to find. Uh, but the Livestock Conservancy will issue, uh, has a list of bur- chickens and other poultry that they f- have listed as rare. That means they're endangered. Their um, numbers are dwindling. Their anticipated, estimated numbers are dwindling in the world, and so they're listed as rare. And those are the kinds that we like to keep um, here in our flock. But these are considered truly rare breeds. There aren't a lot of them in the world. And this is an untapped market for most backyard uh, poultry keepers. It will require a few adjustments to your breeding yards because you want to keep your lines pure. You can't have different breeds intermingling and then sell them uh, at the high price that you will be able to sell them for. I've seen some mature breeding pairs on the internet go for over $1,000 a pair. Now, there are cheaper ways to get started. You could order chicks which um, may still be a little too expensive for some people. Or you can order fertilized eggs and incubate them yourself, get your breeding pairs, and have some to sell. Number one, I am simony. These birds are expensive. They can sell anywhere from 1200 to 4000 for a breeding pair. Now, they're stunning. They're pure black, their cones, their wattles, their feet, every, everything is pure black. Even their meat is black. Now, I know you've seen on the internet that they lay black eggs, but they do not. They lay a medium to a large brown egg. You can read more about them on the, in, on the farmer's lamp. We ha- I'll put a link below for you to uh, read more about this breed. Number two, Indio Gigante. I guess from the name you would know, it is the world's tallest chicken. It is 36 inches tall. It comes from Brazil. They have really long legs and huge feet. And that makes them one of the most sought-after roosters in the world because of predators. They can uh, fight a lot of predators. Number three, cream leg bar. These birds are very pretty. They lay beautiful blue eggs, a true blue egg. Uh, on the, the, the shell. They are popular because they are auto-sexing chickens. That means when they hatch, you can tell who is a roo and who is a hen from the color of the chick. They're very rare in North America. Some hatcheries are starting to carry them, but they're still very rare here. Number four, the gold death layer. It's said to have gotten its name from laying an egg every day until it dies. That's with its uh, over 400 years of history in Germany. No matter how it got its name, it does lay a large number of medium white eggs. The roos are gorgeous. There's estimated to only be 1,500 remaining birds in Germany. They're becoming more popular over here, so there are more hatcheries that are carrying them than ever before. Number five, I am Katawa. Now, this is also known as the laughing chicken, and you may have seen his videos on YouTube, and they are hilarious to watch. Um, They are from Indonesia, and they're becoming very popular because of the videos. And until recently, only the royal family of Indonesia could own these chickens. That's how revered they were. The hens are lovely, but the roo, of course, is the star of the show with his laughing crow. 
They are good layers of light brown to cream colored medium eggs. Number six, the Spitzhauber. I hope I'm saying that correctly. My southern gets in the way sometimes. The Mohawk chicken, Ap also known as the Appenzeller. They're from Switzerland. They lay small, medium white eggs. They do not stay in confinement well. So you have to be able to free range them. They're independent minded. So they're going to do their own thing. So you have to be willing, able to uh, free range them. You can learn more about the Appenzeller breed uh, on the Farmer's Lamp. We have an article about them and we'll put the link below for you there. Now in our book, The Profitable Backyard Chicken Keeper, which you can find a link to below. Uh, it's in our members only library. You will find more breeds than we talked about here. Number two way of making money is selling eggs. One of the easiest ways to make money with uh, any chicken breed is to sell their eggs, but these are rare chicken breeds that we're talking about. And so you've chosen to, you can choose to sell their fertilized eggs for others to incubate. Um, now there are a few things you have to know when you're, if you're going to do that, you have to because of the world we live in, do not ship your eggs until you've received payment. And then you're going to have to decide how you're going to market them. How are you going to let people know you have them? You can do that on eBay. You can do that on Facebook Marketplace. There's buy, sell, trade papers. There's farmer's markets. Any, any avenue you have, you can advertise in a magazine uh, that you can let people know you have these rare chicken eggs for sale. You'll have to build a reputation a seller reputation is what they call that for timely shipping, for hatch rates, for safely shipping. And you can learn more about that in the Profitable Backyard Chicken book. Number three, video and photo sales. There are very few videos and photos of these rare breeds on the Internet. That's why on a lot of uh, different articles and websites, you'll see the same pictures and videos over and over again because there just aren't a lot of them. They're rare. So there are magazines, blogs, hatcheries, and even some video channels that will purchase your pictures and your videos. That's a passive income source. Uh, you can turn um, your high quality pictures into t-shirts, into merchandise, into t-shirts or coffee cups or posters or bags or any kind of thing like that. And there are all kinds of places on the internet you could do that and you can find more about that in the book. You could start your own YouTube channel. All you have to have is a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, and then you're monetized. You can monetize for passive income. They don't have to be professional. They don't have to be techy. People just like to watch chickens. Uh, you can even pay someone on Fiverr to to make your videos and upload them to YouTube for you. You just have to send. You take the videos or the pictures and you send it to them, and then they make the video for you, make it professional looking, and they'll upload it to your YouTube channel. So those are the top three ways to make money with your backyard chicken flocks. Raising rear breeds, selling their eggs, and selling the photos and videos. So yes, you can make $2,000 a month or more with your backyard flock. You have to set it up right. You have to make the right decisions and diversify your income source just like with anything else. Backyard chickens have, as I've already said, are the most profitable small livestock on the homestead or farm. Now you can make them even more profitable. In our book, The Farmer's Lamp Guide to Successful Chicken Keeping, you can learn how to make good decisions on, on breeds and your goals and your flocks, how to keep them, their health, and how to have a happy, healthy flock. Until next time, safe and happy journey.